As well as app delegate and storyboard files, Xcode added a view controller for us when we first created our application. With Swift, a class is composed of a single file with a .swift extension. From the storyboard, we can see which class manages our view by selecting it and then going to the Identity Inspector. The Custom Class tab indeed shows us that the View Controller class is managing our view and its subviews. We're going to create our own View Controller subclass. First, we're going to delete the View Controller file Xcode had automatically generated for us. Let's select it from the Navigation panel and right click to delete it from the list of options. And then finally, confirm by choosing Move to Trash. While we're at it, we can also take this opportunity to delete the launch screen .storyboard file as well. We won't be needing it. All right, next, let's go to the menu and choose File, New, File, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command N. From the drop down window that appears, make sure you're in the iOS source section. Several file types are available. Select Coco Touch Class and then click on Next. Our file name will be Splash View Controller and needs to be a subclass of UI View Controller. Let's click on Next and make sure that you're saving the file with the rest of the application files. So if you don't see them in the list here, double click on the folder and then you will see the app delegate file as well as the info peer list file and the assets.exe assets folder as well. Click on create. Our UI view controller subclass file is created and Xcode provides a few lines of boilerplate code from which you can already recognize the viewed it load method we mentioned in the previous video. Before we continue, I'm going to delete some of this code since we're not going to be needing it and I'm just going to leave the viewed it load method. And there you have it. We have a UI view controller subclass and in the next section, we'll be using it to connect our code with the interface.